Are you rolling? Mm-hmm. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. Not up there. Yeah. No. I, I, I'm not fooling with this trick. You're not fooling? <laughs> I'm not fooling. <laughs> I'm not fooling for I'm not falling for it. What was it? You were going to say, I'm not fooling around, and then you switched no, it I'm to I'm falling. not fooling. I know, I know. You went to I'm not falling, but your brain was on fooling. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Ha, mm, ha, ha. We got a bunch of products. Man, my goodness gracious. It was like a wheelbarrow just showed up in here with every product uh, that this company, SwitchBot, makes. It's all about automation and sensors. There's like a motion sensor, contact sensor. You can have stuff happen. You open the door, the curtains open, the TV turns on. It's, uh, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of stuff, but it actually started with uh, this product, SwitchBot, this simple little box with an arm on it that can turn on any switch, even if it's not a smart switch. It, it, like it could be a light switch, a coffee machine a computer, this arm will come out, it's on a motor and it will press any button. Like we installed one on a power bar over there so that you could click one button on your phone or never even mind clicking, you could just open a door over there and then everything powers up. Mo's been goofing around with this stuff for like a week and he has everything automated now. So we do nothing, it's just Mo has to enter a room and then everything, all the magic happens and all of a sudden you get a coffee inside of a Yeti mug. I didn't get one of those yet, but I wouldn't mind one right now, actually. But anyway, they got this variety of products. One that we've set up in the back is this SwitchBot curtain because we got this little movie theater idea. There's a nice OLED TV mounted on that wall. And we're like, what if the curtain separated like you're at the movie theater? Because none of us have gone to the movie theater in a long time. Anyway, so uh, let's take a look at some of these things. Oh, I almost forgot the big one here. This is a humidifier. Check this out, this gets crazy, all right? Listen to this. Maybe what you wanna do is have this little sensor, also from SwitchBot, which has a thermostat and a humidity sensor. Hygrometer. And a humidity sensor. Hygrometer. And the ability to tell the relative humidity inside of your space. Hygrometer. How many times can I get him to say that? Hygrometer, hygrometer. I'll tell you what, I'm not fooling for that one. Wrong way, <laughs> wrong way, wrong way but that's good. All things considered. How is a humidifier gonna be smart? Humidifiers are cool, actually. He was running the one over there, I was like inhaling a little bit. I was like, yeah, you got some moisture. Sometimes it can be a little dry in here, but I was surprised to find out it's not as dry as I thought it was. 65% relative humidity. <sighs> Anyway, so imagine if you did this, imagine this for a second. Yourself in a dry environment and you need to rectify the situation, but you don't necessarily want to monitor it yourself because you don't have to because you have all these smart things because you're a smart person. You have SwitchBot products. This smart humidifier is actually going to know when the humidity drops below where you might want it because these talk to each other and then the humidifier kicks on and maintains the relative humidity that you're looking for. You see that? All right, that's what smart people do. They keep it humid, but not too humid. Because it can't, I mean, humid outside right now. It gets sticky at times. It's all about getting that right, dialing it in. Let's open some of these boxes. Okay, so why don't we start with the humidifier since it's the biggest one. I should mention, we have about a thousand of these. We have so many boxes sitting around. Most stacked up all these care packages, these kits with one of each of everything so you can get smart yourself. Oh, by the way, there's also this solar panel. I know we're all over the place right now, but it's just a lot of products. It's also got this solar panel, uh, which will power some of the smart elements like the curtain rod so you never have to recharge it or replace the batteries so that when you enter the room you wake up in the morning it could be a door sensor it could be the motion sensor you just walk into the kitchen and then boom the curtains are open thermostat also works with the curtain what if it gets too hot in your space and you're not even home and the sun is beaming in and it's cooking everything that's sitting on the coffee table the curtains will close because you put that setting in there it's nice and cool when you get home and then they open back up because the motion sensor saw you. The 
and you're not even home, and the sun is beaming in, and it's cooking everything that's sitting on the coffee table, the curtains will close because you put that setting in there. Bull put together some care packages. You can win one of each of these things. It's honestly like 17 items times three. And then I think the company themselves is going to give away more stuff too. You're going to go down and check the description. And all of a sudden, Mo's in the video now moving lights around. Mo, say hello to the people. I mean, you can't just kind of sneak in like that and not say or show yourself or commit to it with a wave. I know Willie do also want to be involved in this video. He got a new house and... How smart is your place right now? On a scale of zero to smart. Not smart enough. Not smart. It's a five out of ten? Yeah. Easy. Ugh. Here's the power adapter. This is an important uh, aspect of a... It's like a filter. And this is your humidifier. It doesn't uh, look all that different from a typical humidifier. But of course, it's got the important communication components in there so it can hook up to your network and be ready to go. This will soak in the water. At this point in the video, Mo is showing you like a really beautiful shot of just hum humidity. Just, it's not steam. It's steam. Is it steam? Yeah. Is it steam? Does it get water. hot enough in here to create steam? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mo's gonna show you a beautiful shot of uh, air turning humid. This thing got me. I, I actually saw this a long time ago, and I think it was like a gif of this little robot arm coming out of this switch. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why, why Lou, would I have, why wouldn't I just replace the switch with a smart switch? Why do I have a switch hitting a switch? Why is there a bot, why is there a switch bot hitting my switch? Well, sometimes you can't replace the switch. You might be uh, renting a space and you can't really do any extreme uh, modifications or you might just love the simplicity of not messing around with wires because I'm not going to name any names. There's been people in this uh, in this place that mess around with some wires and they and they got a little bite back from it because you got to be careful with the wires. Yeah, Mo got shocked and almost died. Yeah, exactly! Mo's barely hanging on right now. If he had had the switch bot, he wouldn't need to mess with it. He wouldn't have been needing to twist together black and red and this and that. He still might he might still be with us today. <laughs> if he just had it gone switch bot. So anyway, so this comes with some 3M sticky stuff. You can attach it, like I said, to pretty much anything with a button. It could be your coffee maker. You just wake up in the morning, blam. Mo wants to come say hello to everyone. No. Mo, welcome, no, 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 ladies no. and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mo. Look, you hit this flat button. And he left. So you hit this. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, perfect. Mo, unbelievable presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so happy that he's still with us. <laughs> and that the, his uh, failed light switch attempt from many months ago uh, did not end his uh, flourishing career. Let's run through. Let's run through everything quickly so we just understand the entire ecosystem. So I got carried away, obviously, with the switch bot itself. This is where the whole company started, the ability to trigger that. Now this remote is, it acts as a wireless remote for, well, anything within the uh, environment here. Uh, the contact sensor can detect open doors and windows, but it can also trigger certain behaviors. As you can see, I mean, you can even go in there and have voice commands for it. It will work with Alexa, um, Siri and Hey Google and so forth. So you could have a sequence of events that takes place whenever a door is opened once you have that sensor on there. This is the Hub Mini, which is an infrared remote. If you have devices with an infrared in input, like a TV, I guess some air conditioners have this infrared input as well, but there's a variety of products that use infrared. Then this, will shoot an infrared signal at that device. You can set this up and control even more components that way. This is your motion sensor. 
And this can be mounted or you can just place it on the tabletop. So it has a couple different components, including this little um, stand. So that's what the motion sensor looks like. And it just locks on to, just locks in like that. Or you can install it on the backside. So now I'm like mounted on a wall or something. So you have multiple mounting options. The uh, solar panel for SwitchBot curtain kind of looks like a smartphone actually. This provides non-stop solar power, so you never even have to think about the curtains anymore. Look at this Velcro mount. That's a fairly large solar panel right there. USB type C on the other side. As far as SwitchBot curtain goes, there's a few different models depending on the type of curtain that you have. This one is for a rod. So this is just a standard type of application. This is gonna roll across here and uh, it will be behind the curtains. You're not looking at this. The major part of the component goes behind the curtains living on the rod. You also have a U-rail style for a different type of curtain installation. And then this one is the I-rail style. So just pick the right one depending on the type of curtains that you have. And then I, I guess lastly is the SwitchBot thermometer and hygrometer, wireless temperature and humidity sensor, and it will track tendencies over time so you can see changes in your home as well. 24 seven high accuracy and alert. Look at this. It's not just at home. It's not just with the baby sleeping. Babies hate the dry environment, by the way. Uh, it could be in the fridge. It could be in the wine cellar, or it could be where you keep your hydroponics, or I guess where you grow your hydroponics. Wow. Imagine. Nope. This is, oh, there it is. This is the contact sensor. This is what it looks like. So simply by opening the door, these two little items, no longer in contact, acts as a switch. You could have the whole place power up simply by opening the door. This motion, this motion sensor over here will trigger these curtains to open. Let me show you. Very well. Now I know you're like, man, I can just pull, I can pull my curtains. What if I just want to pull them quickly? You can do that too, watch. If I just got irritated and just wanted to pull them close, I can, Trigger it by just pulling it a tiny bit and then they close up. You can also have a half setting where they would go halfway. And of course, to open them back up, you can do the same thing. Just pull on it and they go the rest of the way. And everything is also in the app, as you can see here. So you can, of course, interact with it that way as well. We have a little switch bot button over here on the PC. And that's triggered by this little a uh, portable switch. So I don't have to reach down under the desk to turn the PC on. I can do so remotely wherever I want this to live, up on top or somewhere else completely. So I'll hit this button. Presses the power button. It's a convenience. It's a cool little gadget aspect there. Now also we can turn the TV on because we have the infrared from the hub there. So if I go back to my phone for a second and we have the TV, which is online, I have an entire control capability here from the phone. I can hit the power button. And now the TV is on and I can also navigate around the TV without the need to track down the location of the remote control. So like here's volume, for example, that'd be a good one to see right over there. Oh, now, as far as the thermometer goes, this is also capable of showing you historical data in a, in a given place. So if I click here, it'll bring up, like it's downloading all kinds of information here, hour, day, week, month, year, and it will track trends in temperature and in humidity over that period of time. So you can see when it dips down, goes up, etc. This could be uh, useful, obviously.
All right, so there you have it. That is some quick coverage of all the different SwitchBot products and how they all talk to each other and how they can all work together. And this is obviously a reminder that there is a giveaway. You can win one of these complete setups. We have three of them here, plus there's bonus opportunities through a link down in the description of this video. SwitchBot is giving away a bunch of stuff themselves, but as far as these three go, you can enter by leaving a comment down below with your Twitter handle and by subscribing to the channel. It's all you have to do for your shot at winning one of these three sets. It's gonna come with the humidifier, the contact sensor, the motion sensor, the SwitchBot remote, the rod style SwitchBot curtains, the SwitchBot solar panels, so you never have to charge that. It's gonna have the thermometer and hygrometer, as well as the classic SwitchBot bot. Uh, actually, two of those, one in white, one in black, and then a SwitchBot hub mini. This is the infrared one, controls the TV and stuff. So your spot, your place is about to get a little bit smarter, courtesy of SwitchBot. Good luck to everybody involved, and I'll catch you on the next video.